Okay, before we merge maps together, we want to have a little bit of understanding of what these maps are so that we can merge them together correctly and in a useful manner to us. All right, first of all, I've opened up this window. Uh, let me close it and show you how I opened it up. I went over here, got the map list, right? Okay, notice we have a name. There's a numerical ID, which Noah uses, and then there's a description of each map. So right now we're looking at the Sarasota 11425 inlet. What type of map? These are all nautical maps. We're not looking at um, tropical maps or any other kind of maps. We're looking at just the nautical maps, or I would call them marine, but that's just me. Then we have a scale over here. Then we have the latitude, the longitude, and the size. Oh, we really don't care about the size. There's nothing we can do about that. The latitude and longitude, if you were looking for a specific place in the ocean or something like that, you might be able to find it here. I suppose that's going to be useful to some people. Um, definitely sailors like to track latitude and the longitude. But now, the thing that we need to know about merging maps together, here's this 1 to 10,000. That means one inch equals one inch on here equals ten ten thousand out here and as we come down we scroll down see they got bigger one to twenty thousand one to twenty four thousand and then some other maps get even bigger one to twenty five one to thirty and one to forty And finally down at the bottom, 1 to 80. That's a very high level map. And uh, the 1 to 20 is the detailed map, sort of like this inlet map here. This is pretty easy when, you're, when you have your boat coming up the intercoastal waterway. If you wanted to go in here, you know, your boat will follow right in between this channel. And your GPS will take you right up here. Now, why is the scaling important? is because you cannot mix the 2000s with the 24 or the 80,000s. They do not merge. So you have to find maps that are all the same size when you're putting together a route. So let's go ahead and move on to the next subject. Notice something about this map. North is pointing that way. And to most of us, in our mind, north points straight up, not to the left. This is almost west. This is barely a little north, but mostly west. So we don't like this. Can we turn the map around? No, we can't. So what are we going to do? We're going to have to find a map that is pointing true north and merge the other maps on top of it. So let's go ahead and do that in the next video.